hi beauty you're welcome to our youtube channel again natural academics tv where we teach you how to make safe and effective natural and organic skincare products and in today's video i'll be sharing with you how to make a cleansing balm right so if this video interests you don't forget to like share and subscribe and most importantly turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when we upload and next video. I'll see you shortly. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to weigh out your distilled water. Yeah, we're starting with weighing out the distilled water. And in this distilled water, I'll be adding a chelating agent. I'm using um, like sodium EDTA and um, I'll also be adding allantoin powder so the job of the chelating agent um, is to help you know make sure that the product doesn't turn brown on time then um, also at this phase I added glycerin okay so the next thing is I'll put that on heat using the double boiler and then move on to the um, next phase which is weighing out my oils and waters so I'm using um, I use neem seed oil and bulb oil okay as my two major carrier oils and then um, I just added e-wax and um, the beeswax okay into this um, also before this eats up completely I'll be adding up this water so I'm using a grape seed butter and I'm also adding in um, arrowroot powder okay so I'll add that to the um, oil mix and you know eat separately in a double boiler so i'll make sure both my water and oil face they eat up to at least 70 degree so while that happens um i will pre-dissolve um salicylic acid so salicylic acid is um, um i had this because i want this balm or butter to serve as um you know an anti-acne um balm something like that okay so what i'll do is i'll pre-dissolve my salicylic acid so if you don't know how to pre-dissolve salicylic acid i recommend that you check out for my video on how to um pre-dissolve salicylic acid so um I, i'll set that aside and then continue with the water and the oils face you know that i heated before so i'll mix the water and oil face together and then i'll stick blend for a few seconds Okay, just to bring the two together and very shortly I'll also be adding um, a solubilizer so I'm adding polysorbate 80 into this mix to make the product more stable okay so that you know I can increase the stability of this product I don't I won't have issues with separating problem okay so once that is done the next thing I'll try to do is to you know add um, glycerin also to this face you know I need to make it more um, moisturizing okay so that's basically what um, Umectin it has a lot of hydrating ability okay um, so I'm just you know checking testing on my skin um, to see you know your product it shouldn't be um, um, it shouldn't leave white cast something like that although this is not a leave-in product it's a rinse off product i'm just testing for aesthetics then finally i added the salicylic acid that already pre-mixed and then um, i'll also be adding here antioxidants i'm using vitamin e oil and then i'm using um, um fragrance or essential oil which is um tea tree okay and then um, finally i will end this um with um liquid gamma plus which is a kind of preservative right then i'll do a final stick blend just to bring everything together before i store this in a sanitized um, container okay so um that's basically what i did there and i'm just you know just testing i just like to play with my product as i make them um it's not a living product like i said it's a rinse off product um, so very shortly I will be testing it on my skin so um, these are the five basic steps you do when applying a cleansing balm 
um, you need to um, steam your face to open the pores of your skin and then you apply the cleansing balm from your neck to your face region and then you leave on for a few minutes maybe 5 to 20 minutes okay so yeah make sure you you massage appropriately like all over your skin all right then after that take it off again with a warm um with warm water using a washcloth and then um at this stage if you like you can still you know go ahead to wash your skin with um, a, a face wash but basically what i'll do is i can just go in with a moisturizer okay so this product um, is very suitable for those that suffer acne and just want to do an occasional skincare routine i hope you try yours bye for now